you might get your wish. This thing went to one ninety nine twenty one. Oh yeah, I'm, I still have a you know I sold some you know and took some profit. So I sold the one ninety two on calls and I'm still in the two hundred calls. So how much you're up in your daughter's account so far? My daughter's account, um, it's at well, it just it just took her out. Actually, no, she has one contract left. Um, I mean, the account is at seven thousand seven hundred right now. It's uh, we started with three thousand. So I'm trying to get it to, I'm trying to get it to uh, twenty so I can buy this Honda Civic. <laughs> and then this account over here on my right, I I swing trade for her also so another 300 dollars a week so so look, far we're up 600 dollars <laughs> you, you're you're creating for your family yeah. based off of what you oh, yeah. yeah that's what it's yeah, about and I, yeah and I, the funny thing this one had a, a limit order and it, it, it triggered before it ran up and i was like oh man i was like yo she, you know, she don't post it she should have left it open we'd have probably done with that but i went light on her account because i just i don't want to I want to just, I don't want it to get kind of too greedy. You know, right. I say $300, let's stick with it $300 a week, you know, you know, until, you know until what's, day. You know what's $300 a week? That's, that's $1,200 a month, right? Yeah. Your money sitting in a bank account ain't going to make $1,200 a month. Nothing. It's not going to even exactly. make a dollar. It's not going to even make a dollar. You see what I'm saying? Dude, in one week, I think I made her like three grand by just shares, you know? Hey, 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 everyone. What's going on? It's me, Latoya, from The Profit Room. I'm one of the members, team members of The Profit Room. We're a stock market trading and educational company. Today's a great day. We have another student success story right now. We have Kirtland with me. And prior to actually hitting the record button, he was all excited because I know right now you are in a trade. What trade are you in? Uh, I'm in FedEx. All right. So FedEx, you're trying to get it to go to 200. That means you're holding yeah. on. Yeah. Um, I've been holding, you know, um, I've been trading it for a few months now, you know, um, got in. So, you know, get back in. Uh, but yesterday, um, I had the alert kept going off on trading view and I didn't get in it because I was actually trading NVIDIA. And every time I would try to exit NVIDIA, um, I realized that I need to set it to market order instead of limit because it, the limit order, it was just moving so fast that I couldn't get it. I ended up taking a losing trade. So I was like, you know what? Let me go over to FedEx because I need to get into FedEx, you know, because I know, um, the entry was 192, but I had an earlier entry, I think from prior weeks ago, where we added at one, um, 186.5. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get into 186.5 and I never checked the earning re report yesterday to realize that UPS had earnings yesterday yeah. morning, which was a, a catalyst to get in even earlier. Correct. And Correct. that would have been a, so yesterday we had a, a, a like a nine point run up, run up yesterday. So, so you know right. what, let me get in it and try to get it to 200 because we have a gap fill at 200. So as you can see, everyone, it is obvious that he is a stocks and options mastermind student. He basically took swing trading along with day trading. And what I want you to do, because right now I know you're, you're doing both. You're doing swings, you're doing day trading, but I'm going to slow it down just a little bit because we didn't even get your name. I kind of introduced you. Where are you from and what do you actually do? Ah, oh, so um, I live in Atlanta. I'm originally from Jamaica, uh, but I grew up in Atlanta. Um, <laughs> Shout out to my uh, West Indians. <laughs> yeah, and I, uh, you know, I've basically paid my tax in Atlanta, but I, I live here, you know, live overseas a lot. Of, and then I come back, you know, I've been back for, you know, almost three years, you know. All right. What do you do for a yeah. living? What I do for a living? Mm -hmm. Basically, trade full time. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh okay. So yeah. you basically trade full time. A little yeah. background history. You took our program because I had to look it up back in April. That's when you started. So it was like the end of April, correct? Yeah, I took it uh, the end of April until about um, 
around September, I think. Okay. The mentorship, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that was about, yeah, about four to five months, give or take. Because when you're doing our mastermind program that involves swing trading as well as day trading is a little bit of a longer process than our three-month standard programs because we want to make sure that you're able to swing trade and that you're also able to efficiently day trade at the end of the program. So we have a process in which we have our um, students go through simulation. Um, that's the only way we do it so we can make sure that you're on track and that you know you have this wonderful experience that you're showcasing right now live in person. So that's that's awesome. Now, yeah, you are a full time trader as of when exactly? Um, I would say I would say around uh, maybe September when I went active. You know, I went oh. active in September. You know, and I, uh, you know, it was because uh, I also own a uh, uh, a trucking company. Well, I don't All own right. it actually. The family owns a trucking company, so I was managing that. But then I had to revamp that, and basically, uh, it's kind of managed by you know one of our friends. You know, so okay, it's the process is much um, seamless. So I had to restructure a lot of things. You know when. Everything started to change. Once the market started to change in the stock market, then the trucking uh, market started to change also. So, you know, you had to basically reorganize everything. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you've seen the change in the different structures. So, yes, the, the stock market slightly, slightly changed a little bit. But I think over time, you're going to realize that you might spot some changes, but in actuality, everything is still the same, like in terms of how the moves play out, right? So yeah. especially with trading gappers, because you have the experience now of understanding how to trade gappers and that's through the day trading um, process. We also understand how to take advantage of gaps when it comes to the swing trading process, right? How do yes. you incorporate both in your schedule as of now? Because what's interesting, you said, Basically, I guess after you finished the program and you went live, that's when you became a full-time trader. That's huge. I don't think you understand how huge that is because I would say on average, our students, they'll go through the process, like after the three months, it may take them two months afterwards to work in some practice, et cetera, but you went, you went straight to it. That means you felt extremely confident and comfortable, especially in your simulated results that you were showcasing to us. They were excellent, by the way. So walk us through that, that mindset, that thought process that made you go live and say, hey, I'm a full-time trader now. Well, the, I keep noticing, like, especially swing trading. I love swing trading. <laughs> I noticed in like all my uh, homework, they were hidden. Like I would go on FinViz and I would put in my screener and I would come up with my plays and they were just, they were just on point, you right. know? And I was just, and, uh, and uh, also um, the instructor for swing trading, um, Kim, he's very good, you know? And I wanna, I like, I like going to her class. I, should, I think I might <laughs> go back to her class just to keep get some refresher, but it's like every time I would go there, you know, it was like, Bounce, you know, bouncing ideas off the swing trading instructor, you know, it was, it was very good. You know, my outcomes were very good. So I decided, you know what, um, I like swing trading, but I did do some day trading because, you know, but I'm, I was still, I was still new to the, the platform. That's mm -hmm. one of the biggest hurdles was to you know, understand the platform, how to use it, you know, and, um, once I got that down, you know, start spending more on um, seat time, you know, I realized that, you know, I, I can do it full time, you know, you know, because I'm mostly at home anyway, you know, because I don't right. really have a nine to five. Yeah. I appreciate your efforts, especially the participation that you showcase 
in the community for our support groups when it comes to um, the day trading, because you always reiterate and remind other members of the process in which you took or went through during the program. I cannot stress that enough because it's a process, meaning we have a structure, we have a system, and it works if you stick to it and don't navigate outside of the system because that is basically how the market works. It's just through what we showcase and taught and reveal that if you go through these steps each and every time you approach the markets, you are going to be highly satisfied with your results at the end. Um, yep. It's fair to say, right? Yep. So I just um, want to give y'all some quick insight real quick. So being today, last night, um, I provided analysis based off of a company that was going to be a gapper for today, which happens to be AMD. And I gave the level spot on in the thought process. If this was to happen, this is going to happen. And that's exactly the result we've seen today. And if anyone traded options, that's more than likely over 100% movement because it, it hit the level, it held the level and skyrocketed. So it's, it's all about the preparation, right? The process sticking to the core of what you, what you were taught. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, after like, you know, just picking a certain stock that you like and you like to trade and you just start to watch it, you can understand all the levels, you know, when it's gonna go up, when it's gonna go down, you know, it's, it's kind of like repetitive, you know, it's right. like accum accumulation, you know, manipulation, distribution. <laughs> you know, it's like you just see. It. So sometimes is you just have to buy time. You know, because even with um, Nvidia, which I, I played a few times, I played a lot. You know, normally what I do is like I would I would get in my my swing trades, and after I get in my swing trade, then I might take a day trade. And mm -hmm. ba basically, Nvidia is always one that I day trade. Nvidia. Uh, Every now and then I might do AMD, but I, I like NVIDIA. You like NVIDIA? The thing, the, the thing I noticed with me was uh, sometimes I'm a little too impatient with my day trading, <laughs> you know, because I know the levels and I was yeah. like, okay, just let it wait. I don't let it wait. And sometimes I end up taking unnecessary losses, for, you know, for because no Because of the impatience. But, yeah, impatience. So that's that's the big thing, you know, I feel like, once you finish with the course, you know, you definitely have to, you know, handle your emotions, you know, and basically try to try to actually take it away completely. Like there's no emotions, even when when you win, when you lose, no emotions. Just zero. Execute. Zero. Yeah, just, just execute, just execute. <laughs> yeah. this trading plan. And if you deviate out of that, as you mentioned clearly that it does result in losses. But when you stick to a plan, how does that work out for you? I mean, most of the time, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm buying, you know, out the, I mean, close to the money and I'm buying time. So basically, um, I think this week is, I bought three weeks out, you know, my things. Mm -hmm. But I think for, I think a couple of weeks ago, I bought some bi weeklies. But normally, you know, if I do a weekly play, it's normally uh, Monday and Tuesday. But after that, everything is just bi-weekly or like three weeks out, you know. So and, you, you, have a, you have an art to your process, which is good. You have an art yeah. to timing and understanding the market timing, which is great. What's the highest percentage return you ever receive from a option play that you have made? Um... Somewhere maybe a hundred and ten percent. One hundred and ten percent return. Yeah, yeah. That's solid. Is I mean, it a yeah, swing just, trade or in the day trade. Uh, actually, um, yeah, in in the uh, swing trading and day trade, yeah, I've made up a hundred percent before. You so. know, um, one was a a news play. You know, it was just um, what happened was 
I uh, I think I told you about this. I accidentally <laughs> sold sold a put just while I was trying to buy a put. <laughs> you know, you know, because like I said, I know the levels for Nvidia, and it was going back to that level, and I basically at the end of the day it was like three fifty fifty six. You know, and I'm trying to get in this put for the next day, and basically end up buying a put. I mean, selling a put instead of buying a put. Instead of buying a put. So, yeah. So I end up um I end up jumping to QQQ, you know, post market, you know, and basically, you know, to cover to edge against the Nvidia. And it worked out. It worked out good. I think I ended up my losing twenty five dollars instead of like two hundred dollars. But it could have been based off of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think that 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 QQQ play was over a hundred percent also. Hundred percent return on that. So one of the most interesting things when it comes to trading, just so everyone would know, is like literally once you learn the skill, you'll find that most of the mistakes are actually platform mistakes. That's it. Like, yes. so, you yes. know, instead of I meant to buy this, but I hit I hit the sell button instead or I meant to sell it, but I en entered the buy button. That happens to everyone. I do not know a trader that have not made those mistakes. <laughs> I'll tell you that <laughs> right now. It's like, oh, wrong button, you know? So I just wanted to let everyone know that part is, is a simple mistake that can't avoid because it's a, it's a yeah. thing, not necessarily a trading thing. Yeah, it, it happens, you know? I mean, sometimes you'll go, five six months and you know it doesn't happen and then one day you're just moving so fast that man it happens again and you're like oh my god you know and then you know you'll catch it you know so that's the good thing so tell me what what did you like about our process first of all how did you find the profit room what made you want to start one of our programs you know i uh i should have signed up with you guys back in 2017 because um Y'all heard him. Yeah. Should have signed yeah. up back in 2017. <laughs> yeah, 23 um, right now, y'all. Yeah, I, I would have been much further, but I mean, I, I'm happy where I'm at. You know, I learned. You. The point um, is, you started. You did it. Yeah, you know I mean, I already, I already had it, it on my my list, but I was starting. I was starting a business. I was starting a, a business, you know, because I planned to basically um step away from my career you know i had 20 some years in aviation maintenance and i decided you know enough was enough kind of tired of being on the road traveling around the world i was like you know i'm coming home and right i had a, I had a friend who basically introduced me to trucking in 2012 and i just didn't have the time to start and so i said you know let me give myself time and then it just so happened that 2017 you know, I had a lot of freedom, I had a lot of time, and I said, okay, let me start doing some research in this business. And I was doing research, and I was meeting other people. I think I met a lady who introduced me to um, Vanessa Braxton, and, mm -hmm. you know, and she has private equity, uh, a private equity group, and I, I had bought some shares, you know, through her company and then she put me in a private equity group on Facebook and that's where I basically heard her start talking about Ernest <laughs> you know and you know so yeah and that's the first time I, I got introduced to the profit room you know, all right private equity group all yeah, right, and I said so you know well. so I checked it out and I liked it and then you know at the time like I said I didn't want to do that and the trucking at the same time because I realized that, you know, I want to put all my attention just into one thing. And um, 20, when 2020 came around, my uh, my daughter got a stimulus check and then I had her sign up for it, you know, but it was kind of like a new language to her, you know. Right. I mean, she did she did the group, the group class, it was like a mm -hmm. new stimulus class, and, mm -hmm. you know, so, and basically, you know, uh, have an account that she opened. I mean, she's in college now. She's not trading, so I basically just manage her her account. Okay, <laughs> so okay. I'm, I'm trading her account right now as we speak. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. So, how did you like the flow of the programs once you actually signed up? Once you enrolled? 
I liked it, you know, and I, one of the reasons why, you know, I, uh, I mean, I researched other people, other groups, you know, and like I said, I, I've been in discourse before and, you know, and I, one thing I liked was um, you guys had time, you know, like a, a lot of people, you know, like would say, okay, they teach, you know, whatever, but they don't have a lot of years of experience, you know, so I look at you guys as years of experience and then I say, okay. I like the layout, you know, because in my previous job also, I was an instructor. So, you know, there, there are certain things that we have to know when you design a course or the layout of the course. Uh, my favorite thing about the course actually is homework. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or how you got to set up, you know, how your homework. Keep our students accountable, got to do the work, got to put it in. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's definitely my favorite thing about the course is homework. So all while you were saying experience and you like our, you know, that we have the years of experience, what was going through my mind was like, dang, Ernest, she getting old. <laughs> 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 oh man. Yeah. So we yeah. have like, yeah, 30 plus years combined experience. We've been trading for a very, very long time. Time is just going. Time moves, everyone. Yeah. So we seen it all. Bear markets. <sighs> bull markets it doesn't matter like at the end of the day is like when you read the charts you realize one thing is that you can still anticipate and predict future price movements at the end of the day is really a skill in my opinion that anyone can learn if they truly put in the effort to learn it and most importantly, we designed a program where it's very systematic and we break it down in steps so you can dissect, digest each part of the content. And at the end, you'll have all the pieces in order to be where you are at right now in your seat as a full-time trader. That's what's up. Do you have any words you may want to say to anyone that is looking into learning how to trade? Or how has trading helped your, do you invest long-term, your long-term portfolio, et cetera? Like, what would you say to people? Um, this will, trading will, will expose you. You know, every characteristic that you have, it will expose you. You know, if you're patient, impatient, you know, if, you, if you're lazy, I mean, it will bring out everything in you. You know, right. so if this is if this is something that you want to do, you have to make sure that you have the time to to invest. You know, because um, it it requires a lot of time to get to a good level. I mean, I still feel like I'm a student. I mean, I still study. I put in sometimes six, seven hours a day studying. You know, just to probably even work for thirty minutes. You know, but it takes practice. You know, so even though we're finished with the course, you know, you still have to constantly practice, 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 and you know, get that seat time. You know, so yeah, I mean, if it's something that you want to do, you know, you have to make sure you have the time. You know, and taking the course basically it will speed up your time, you know, but it will not speed up your patience. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and you have to have a lot of that. You know, but um i love it you know, and it's something that you could do anywhere in the world have you felt time. have you felt taking the program sped up your time in terms of that learning curve do you feel like if yes you youtube university if you did other things would you have learned as fast as you did with this structured program we have yes because um i mean we all go to youtube university you know right. I mean, you see things but um, people don't really break down like, you know, like why, you know, like, like for instance, an F, um, simple moving averages, you know, they don't want to break them down to like when you use them, how to use them, you know, why you use them, you know, and when, and basically shows you like a comparison, you know, in price action versus the indicator, you know, if they're, you know, you, you probably could see the play better and faster with price action compared to, 
you know, an indicator because the indicator is going to lag, you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, some people go to YouTube University and I mean, you have, you have, a, you know, you have some good content out there, you know what I mean? But as far as, you know, speeding up your process and just give you a structure because, okay, yeah, this is where you can start. This is where you can do and be consistent. Um, that's where the course comes in, you know, rather than being on YouTube two, three years, blowing up accounts and, you know, trying to create your own process. Right. Yeah. And yeah. It, it costs more in the long run. It Not does. only more financially, but it costs more time-wise. Right? Time wise, yeah. and time is the most valuable yeah. asset everyone has. The most valuable asset. You can so I always say, back. why waste it? Get started today. Yeah. Are you really